All right, guys. So it's the day two of Baku, Azerbaijan, and just got freshened up. I left the hotel right now. I'm gonna go get some breakfast, and it looks like it might rain soon. I hope it doesn't destroy my uh, GoPro gimbal. All right, guys. So I'm gonna head down to Nizami Street. I'm gonna try getting some breakfast, and then from there I'll try to head on somewhere to the museum, which is quite well known here. So stay tuned. soon and with that coffee I need something to munch on because I'm starving right now. I had a pretty good day yesterday. I walked around in the same place. I had a couple of tasty shawarmas that's like almost on every corner here. It's called the shawarma one. soon and I hope it doesn't destroy my karma grip so I'm gonna try sneaking around it does look like it might rain soon so one thing you guys need to do whenever you get here you try to get download uh, there's an app called Bolt B-O-L-T there's an app called Bolt and you really need to download that it's basically the Uber Uber version for uh, Azerbaijan because the cabs here are really gonna rip you off normally they would charge you around 30 manat all the way from the airport when in reality it only costs around 6 manat if you use the Uber or the Bolt it's gonna cost you 6 manat only How many of you are like me but I'm always smiling I'm always happy when I'm traveling and uh, the day I stay put on one spot for example if I stay in one city for too long that's when I get grumpy and that's when I get really moody you know but when I'm traveling I'm always smiling and I'm kind of enjoying life <music> subway then to cross to the other side and uh, on the other side there is a park and let me, let me just remember what exactly is there just adds up to the positive vibes the place is beautiful as it is but the weather kind of adds up even more you know the, the weather kind of makes it even more perfect because back in Dubai the weather was starting to get really humid and it started to get around 45 degrees Celsius as it is and that's quite early for summer to start up was Dennis Mall which was in the back but I suppose the one I previously visited was the Park Boulevard and I guess that's more closer to me they've got a couple of restaurants over there so let's go and find something to eat if it 
does rain is gonna it's actually, it's actually gonna make it a lot better it's gonna make the experience a lot better because I haven't experienced proper rain for quite some time now so I suppose this is the Park Boulevard I hope that is I don't see any other building that looks a bit like a mall straight ahead so we gotta walk a couple more meters I think it's like 200 meters I don't see anything anyways let's find out please don't touch seriously who's gonna touch a cactus man who is gonna touch a cactus Five to six mana, that's the max. It can go up to seven mana if there's a lot of traffic. But the cab drivers, they kind of charge you around 30 to 40 mana. Depends on the freaking, uh, it kind of, they kind of like look for a moment. And that's the only time where they charge you a lot. If you want to like use the cabs, don't just stop the cab. It is going to charge you a lot. They're definitely going to charge you quite a lot. I mean, look at the difference. I came from the airport in a bolt straight to my hotel and it cost me six mana. It actually cost me less than six mana. But I gave like eight just you know because the guy was already kind so I gave him like eight manat but if you would have just entered a cap any cap the lowest they would charge you would be like 30 40 minutes so that's a huge difference there's six and then there's 30 and 40 so you gotta download bolt guys you have to download bolt in order to make sure you don't spend too much on caps struggling with when you get here is not a lot of people know how to speak English most of them are only going to be able to speak their own Azari language so that's the only struggle I'd say you'll be having here but if you go if you go to the mall or in the airport or the hotel staff most of them will be able to communicate but outside it's really hard to find someone to speak English yeah I think I see the mall yes it has to be that has to be it <laughs> that has to be the mall right there Park Boulevard. Yep, that's right there. That's it right there. They've got shops, they've got coffee shops, they've got restaurants. It's not as big as uh, the malls in Dubai, but it's still pretty good. It gets the job done. They've got the money exchange because I remember getting my money exchange here previously. So let's go and check it out.
the city itself. So if you're going to the malls, if you're going to any government official places, they ask for the vaccination. Even the restaurants, if you try to enter the restaurant, they ask you for the vaccination. But that's only for the local. It's only for the local. The tourist people, the tourists are completely free because they know that tourists cannot get into the country without showing their vaccinations. And that's a good part. And uh, it, it makes you feel like it's back to normal, you know? They, they don't have any face masks on, no social distancing. It's kind of good to get back to reality. I gotta get myself to a Starbucks. Unfortunately, this mall didn't have a Starbucks. So I gotta get to Dilgit Mall or something. It's hard to pronounce. But anyways, I'm gonna order myself a bolt. I'm gonna head straight to Dilgit. Kanjik, Kanjlik, Kanjlik Mall. I'm gonna head myself to Kanjlik Mall. That's where they've got Starbucks and there's plenty of stores. So I might even try to see if I can find myself a leather jacket. Let's go. All right, so they say that my driver has arrived and has got a the number plate is 60BR440. Alright, let me see which one is it. Alright, so it says it's probably the other side. It's a Kia Rio Black. 60BR440. Let me see if I find it. Yep, that's him. I just got my driver and he's right there. We're gonna head straight to Ganjlik Mall. You see, it's gonna be a couple of minutes away. It's not that far. But it's only gonna cost me around 1.84 manat. Alright, let's go. Hi brother, how are you? Ganjalik Mall, yes? Oh. Do you speak English? <laughs> no English. Uh, it's a, as I expected. Another person who doesn't speak English. It's really hard to find someone that can actually speak. But it's good, I mean, you still end up understanding what we we're trying to say, you know? It, it might be really hard, but you somehow do end up understanding. So we're heading off to Ganjalik Mall, because that's where they've got the Starbucks. All right, guys. This is, what is this? Formula. Formula. There were formula races over here? Oh my God, that is pretty damn good. So apparently there was a F1. This is basically an F1 uh, truck, and uh, they've got all the seats, the crowd, the viewing area. It's built on this. I don't know how is it possible in the middle of this city, right in the middle of the city, they put the Formula One. I don't even think I've heard about it. But apparently there was some F1 uh, track day or something. F1 event. Port Baku. Classic designs. As you can see the one right in front of me. Very beautiful. Kind of reminds me of uh, Shenzelizee in Paris. So I've just tried to speak to him and uh, I tried to find out about the wholesale market here because I kind of want to visit there as well. Basically they've got a wholesale market for fruits and vegetables and all. I'm pretty sure there has to be another wholesale market where they've got all sorts of branded items. Uh, so let me see which one I can find, which one I can actually end up getting to. Because uh, you gotta use the Google Translator in order to get to understand each other here. Let's hope we'll find it soon. Anyways, now we're almost so this is the mall that I was talking about and I finally got here, got the Starbucks and everything. It's called the Gunslick or something. I have no idea how they pronounce it. It's gonna take me a while to pronounce the name correctly. It was a good way to see my driver had actually got a Peaky Blinders cap on. A Peaky Blinders cap. That was pretty good. These are all the classic buildings. And they've got a stadium. There's a stadium right there. I remember the last time I was here, there was a huge tournament going on. So they had cups all over the place, just in case anything went wrong. But yeah, they're gonna be doing some checking and some uh, vaccination. So they've got Zara, they've got all kind of stores here. They've got the New Yorker, they've got this Aldo, Bershka. They've got Next, they've got Mango, they've got Mauve. I think this is the biggest mall here, if I'm not wrong. If I'm not mistaken, this is the biggest mall in Baku. I'm gonna head on to Starbucks right at the end. 
is first I need to look for some jackets, winter jackets, because it's kind of freezing cold outside and uh, in the evening it's gonna get even worse, so I need something to keep myself warm with. and everything and uh, let's check this one out slides, toys, everything in one place. Look at that, you get shampoos, you get basically all sort of cosmetics, home appliance, toys, clothes, everything in one place. you can find it here. 
anything that you need, anything that you require at home, you'll be able to find it here. where they sell all these chandeliers and they look really high class and it looks very beautiful to me so normally these would be really damn expensive but I don't know the prices here all right so it's mentioned it's around 750 I don't get it hi what's the price for these for this one bronze. price bronze. bronze okay but how much money In that day, yeah mana, 900 I don't know what sec choose is but that's what he's saying so I think it's 900 <laughs> all right he's gonna get the calculator and he's gonna show me but these are very beautiful guys very beautiful and normally these are like really expensive as well 800 manat. okay so it's 800 manat 800 that's pretty good that's very good all right so if I want to import this to another country I can do it send it to another country look at these guys they're really beautiful very very beautiful guys and I'm gonna show you what the exchange rate is for that thank you brother thank you because normally I've seen these go for like thousands of dirhams and dollars they're really expensive so I found a very good one that they were selling for around 800 manat and that's not as expensive as I expected so that's like 470 dollars because that's around 1700 dirhams that is not expensive at all that is not expensive at all it's quite cheap compared to the places that sell them it is pretty damn good prices so I'm guessing this is the wholesale market for shoes specifically for shoes They've got a really wide variety guys. Any kind of designs, colors, quality. Got plenty of options, way too many options. But it's the same thing here as well. Uh, they're all supposed to be closing early because Google had actually messed up. They said 7 p.m. and it's all like, I would say half the market is already shut now and it's only 5.30. Prices are very reasonable. So if any of you want to visit this place, you make sure you come here during the day, but a bit early. Try to be here at like in the morning, like 10, 11 a.m. And then, you know, because they close at like 5, 5, 5.30. That's when they start shutting down. You get to find whatever you need at home collectibles to actually home appliance all sorts of accessories for your house they've got it here Alright, so I'm gonna head out from here because there's nothing that I need from here but I just wanted to check it out because I've, I've actually seen a couple of people making videos about it and uh, it is quite interesting. It is very interesting and it's worth the visit to be honest. It's worth the visit. It's really worth the visit because uh, at least you get to enjoy and you get to see all these different things that they sell here. So make sure you visit here during the day. Uh, try to be early because at like 5.30 they shut down the whole place and do not expect to believe Google Google gives you the wrong information some of the grandmas here are quite loud you know because every time I feel like they're fighting but then I look around and they're just laughing and that's how they talk what is this? camouflage oh alright it's their own Turkish army uh, clothes Ooh, the weather is getting really cold now the weather is getting really cold 
All right, I'm gonna order my Uber, my uh, Bolt, and I'm gonna head straight back to the hotel because I've got to keep some stuff back there. So let's see when I get there. Check out this beautiful mosque, guys. This is probably the first mosque I've seen here. It's really beautiful. This was the wholesale market in Baku. This was the, uh, I keep on forgetting the name. The Sadrak Bazaar it, it is massive, it is really huge. Uh, I didn't expect it to be this big because it's not just one warehouse, there's like several warehouses and the entire area has got countless number of shops and stores and warehouses for basically anything that you might need. Whether it's home appliance, accessories, clothing, shoes, everything. Makeup accessories, everything you need you might actually find it here. So it's worth the visit guys. I'm gonna go straight to Bolt and I'm gonna head straight to the hotel because my phone is draining out and if that drains out I have no way of going back home. I might have to just hitchhike on the road. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go straight to the hotel. So stay tuned guys. Cheers. I hope you will enjoy the video. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for my upcoming content. Cheers guys.